Hey, what's going on? It's Keith. I'm making this quick video here on a Sunday afternoon. I wanted to make this video for three reasons. Number one, I want to sincerely say thank you to my 14 subscribers. Seriously. I just started this YouTube channel a week ago, not even, and I've already published, I think, 16 or 17 videos. I've got 10 more videos that are complete, and I have a crazy list of content that I'm going to be producing for you. So I just want you to know that I appreciate you following. I've got some amazing information I want to share with you, and most importantly, I can't wait to hear about all of the successes that you're having with the software. Number two, I want to show you what you have to look forward to because over the coming months, I'm going to be making content showing you all the bots that we use in our business and in our clients' businesses. And number three, I want to show you something I just created yesterday called the After Hours Filter. And it's a bot that we created that runs in conjunction with your chat bots. So your site chat, your messenger for Facebook, Instagram, Google My Business. So let's hop in my computer and I'll show you. Okay, so here are some bots that we use, right? We have appointment bot, intake bot, connect bot, Estimate bot, negotiate bot, that's one of my favorites. Invoice bot, manual, invoice bot through system. Nurture bots, after hours bot, that's the one I just built. Birthday bot, we got dial bot, that's an amazing one. Emergency bot, awesome. Failed SMS bot, holiday bot, lead score bot. These are the messages bots, these are great. Missed call bot, newsletter bot, references bot, referral bot, review bot, we have SMS keyword bots, contact bot, email action bots, notification bots, a bunch of utilities, and we have a Zoom bot, which is really cool. So I just want to show you, uh, and this is just one of the accounts where we're starting to compile stuff. So we have other bots that I'm going to be sharing with you too, but these are a lot of the ones we use every single day. We actually have built this out so that all of the bots actually can be installed into a, uh, a sub account with all the custom values and just, I mean, it's incredible, right? And as High Level provides new layers of protection with the snapshots, uh, we're gonna be rolling these out to you as soon as that happens, so stay tuned for that. Now, let's take a look at this After Hours bot, okay? And I'm very interested to get your feedback on this. Uh, if you've been using High Level for a while, um, and you have some feedback on how I built this out, but I really like this. I built three or four renditions until I came up with this. I was trying to think in my head, how can I make this as easy as possible for uh, updating? And you're going to look at it and say, well, it doesn't seem like you really made it super easy for updating, but uh, for the hours for clients, because not everybody's open nine to five Monday through Friday. If that was the case, I could have made this a lot smaller. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm happy with it. I really uh, think it's going to work well. I tested it. Um, it seems to uh, perform perfectly. And I'm excited to get it into people's businesses. We haven't actually installed it into our main snapshot yet. Um, but so here's how it works. So before I show you that, I just want to show you um, message bots, right? So here they are. So we have site chat bot. We have GMB chat bot. We have Facebook chat bot, Instagram chat bot. And then we have a stale message lead um, workflow that lets them know if something gets stale and hasn't moved on. Um, but for instance, if we go into the site chat bot, Essentially, this just is a quick little workflow that runs, looks to see if they have the tag live chat, um, looks to see if they have the tag customer so that it can respond and like, you know, hey, looks like you're a customer of ours, you know, versus, you know, hey, if you want service, go here. So this is the typical way we were doing it. And we had a trigger here uh, where they would come in and boom, right into this. Now, I took the trigger out and what I built was this after hours filter and I'm going to show you it. So let's go in there. So let's go to after hours chat filter, okay? This thing looks like a beast, but it's really neat. Okay, look at. So essentially what this does is as soon as they chat, it comes in here and then it says, is it Monday before 9 a.m.? If it is, it's gonna send this message right here. If it's not, it's gonna go down here and do another if, if else. It's gonna see, is it Monday after 5 p.m.? Right. If it is, it's going to send this message and these messages are specific. I'm going to show you them in a second. Then we have Tuesday before 9 a.m. Right. Is it if it is boom, if it's Tuesday after five, if it's not, it goes Tuesday after five. Boom. Wednesday before nine, Wednesday after five, Thursday before nine, Thursday after five, Friday before nine, Friday after five. Right. And then Saturday, let's assume they have Saturday off. Right. So Saturday off, boom. If it's Saturday, it goes over here. If it's not Saturday, it looks to see if it's Sunday, 
right? Let's assume they have Sunday off. If they don't have Saturday and Sunday off, it's easy enough right here to just add in a, a segment and put in the hours for Sunday or in Saturday, right? So if it goes, no, it's not Saturday, boom, it's not Sunday, and then it lands here, right? So this is where it adds them to the chat bot because at this point, we know with 100% certainty that this person is chatting during the business hours, right? So I know it's kind of a weird round way to get there, but after making a few of these, I was like, this makes the most sense, right? Because over here, if I go Monday, and let's go ahead and just make this 100%, so it's going to say, hi, Keith, thank you for reaching out to whatever the business is on our website chat. We open at 9 a.m. on Mondays. If you'd like to request a quote now, you can do so easily online. This is another little trick that I'm going to teach you as we go forward. Um, there's something I call the perfect path that every business should be creating for their customers. And we'll talk a lot about that. But this right here is where you push them to go get a quote, go get an estimate, go do the thing right? Because the motivated people are going to do it, right? And the unmotivated are just going to, you know, go do whatever and waste your time, which is what they try to do, right? So the motivated person needs a way to raise their hand. That's how I explain it to clients, right? You need a way to raise their hand and say, I'm motivated. I'll go to the next step, right? And it's good service. It lets them move through. But anyway, so otherwise someone will reach out to you when we get in, right? So this is really specific to the time of day. It's Monday before hours, right? Over here, it's Monday after hours. So it's thank you for reaching out on our website chat. We're closed, but we'll open again on Tuesday at 9 a.m. If you'd like to request a quote, you can do so, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Otherwise, someone will reach out when we get in. Right. Tuesday before hours, same exact thing. So each one of these instances, we're, we're literally customizing it to the day. Right. Thanks for reaching out. You know, we open at 9 on Tuesday. So it feels real. Um, it almost feels like somebody's sending that. Right. Um, it almost, you almost might wonder like, is that a person sending that over? Um, but that's how I built this out. So, um, I want to hear what you think, you know, do you think this is a, uh, a good way to do it? I mean, I, I think as far as editing it, it's quick, right? I can go in here and what I'm going to probably do is I'm going to use custom values for the times, right? So I'm going to go in. In fact, um, why don't we just add that in here since this video is not that long. Let's go back to workflows. Let's go to custom values. By the way, aren't, our entire snapshot, it's a monster. It has 481 custom values, right? So all these custom values right here are literally, most of them are for the website and the funnels, right? So that we can actually make sweeping changes to the website template right from here. I can change the logo, background colors, header, footer, everything, right? Um, so if we go in here, let's go in and add custom value. And let's say um, Monday our Monday opening and we'll say 9 a.m. right so I'll go save and then we'll say Monday closing we'll say 5 p.m. and then now what I can do is I can go in and I can build that into this after hours bot so I can go chat filter this mic's weird if I get far away it um, so we'll go Monday. So thank you for reaching out on our website chat. We open at, and then this is where we can put the custom value for that. So we'll go custom value. Um, what did I call it? Monday. These are all alphabetical. Yeah, Monday opening, right? So that's going to say we open at 9 a.m. on Mondays. If you'd like to request, you can do so, right? Boom, save. And then the same thing right here, right? So now what happens when we build this out? Um, actually, is that Tuesday? Let's go back here. Monday after hours. We are closed. We're opening in. Oh, it doesn't mention what time we close. So that's fine. But that's how you would use a custom value. So now, because I have four of these, right? Because I have one for the chat. I have one for Facebook, one for Instagram, one for Google, my business, right? Same exact thing. Everything's tweaked. Just saying, thanks for reaching out on Google. But if I throw those custom values in there, then I don't have to worry about changing the messages. The only thing I have to do is come over here and just change the time, right? So 10 o'clock, you know, six o'clock, whatever it is. So you'd have to do that one piece of setup on this. That's why I was wondering if somebody knew a way to get the granularity we're getting here with less um, effort, but it seems to do the job. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Again, I really appreciate you being a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, click the button, subscribe. Uh, click that uh, bell so that you get notified when I post videos. I have a ton of great content coming. The purpose of this YouTube channel uh, is to help people who are either 
just starting out, maybe thinking of getting into, uh, you know, digital marketing, running an agency, or even just own a business and really want to get the most out of it. Uh, at the end of the day, this software, if you own a business, what is it doing for you? It's doing a couple things. Number one, it's making your life way easier, right? You're getting way more done in less time. Number two, it's making the experience for the person on the other side, AKA the buyer, a better experience, right? So, those are the two things I always tell people. It's like automation software, marketing automation does two things, makes your customer's life better and it makes your life easier. And that's the goal, right? So that's the goal of this channel is to help you provide you with tools, provide you with knowledge and information that I'm learning every day. Uh, I'm learning so much every day. I mean, we keep building new things every single day, right? So we're going to continue to do that. And as we do it, we're going to share it with you. All right. Fair enough. Great. Do me a favor. Share this channel with anybody that you know that could use this information. I would really appreciate that. I'd like to get to 100 subscribers as quickly as we can and get a nice community going here. And then we can do some really amazing things, right? We can get together and really start with technology. We can stay connected uh, and we can really help each other all out. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great Sunday afternoon, evening, or if you're in another part of the world, wherever you are, enjoy your time. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Have a good day. Bye.